Potter. We're got, Potters. I got life figured out now, and if you're watching this, you're the one that needs to get your shit together. Exactly. I'm, I'm living it up. You know, I got the, uh, I got rims. I think you have the mic the wrong way. <laughs> on my, uh, I got go. rims on my uh, bicycle. I think you had the mic on the wrong the whole time this time. Is that possible? Yeah, you did. I think that's why you're, maybe you were a little low. Am I high now? I mean, you know, that's yeah. that's what happens when you listen to the VNA Bro, podcast. Bro, we gotta talk about the Hunter Biden shit. I got, we gotta say something about it. We haven't said anything about Hunter Biden, man. I mean, I do people care you, about him? I can't. Of course they do. I see it every fucking day here. There's a bunch of people talking about this guy. Is it? It's so weird. This is very odd. This We're, is very weird. Are we a political podcast? It's not political. It's just the dude smoking crack and his father's the president. Let him smoke crack. He's fucking bitches and smoking crack all over a laptop. There's like they're underage and shit. And it's oh, wild. I don't know about all that. And it's fucking wild. You know, now this is going to get seen by the CIA. Who gives a fuck? Just, just look. Just let Hunter be Hunter, bro. But we got to like at least admit this is happening. Biden, right. you got to say something about your son, man. You got to listen. If you're going to like help out the country, you got to say something about your son getting, you know what I'm saying? He's getting some weird. Uh, My man Donnie would have had a field day right now with. Uh, Donnie's got a bunch of shit out there, too. I mean, he did kind of try it, Hunter Biden when they were had their little. Uh, 1v1 at the oh, the God. debate. What did Donald say again? He probably said whatever the fuck he could say. He's like, what about your son? Or he said like some that. shit, yeah, I forgot. I, 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 listen, there's a bunch of people saying that, you know, Trump is a fucking meth head or some shit. Like, he's addicted to Adderalls. He crushes them up and snorts them and shit, you know? I mean... Listen, there's a lot of druggies out there in this game, bro. If you're getting in these rackets, you got to take something, bro. What, is, what does Hunter Biden do exactly? He smokes crack. No, man. Like, oh, what? he's a lawyer. <laughs> he's an actual lawyer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> for what, though? I don't know, man. Does he work for, like, a, a government? No. He's that, an independent lawyer? He doesn't He doesn't work for the government. Like, not like his father, right? No, no, no. That would be a big issue, man. If he tried to... He wants his son, like, out of the Super way. Super far away. Yeah, he's like, yo, this has nothing to do with So me. he's an independent lawyer? Like, he just... On his own terms? I don't think he works. I don't know what the fuck he does. It's weird. I mean, the only thing I know about him is he smokes crack and he fucks bitches. That's one way to put it. I don't know. I don't know anything about That's Hunter all I know. Biden. You gotta look him up. You gotta look up Hunter Biden. I'm gonna look up some pics. You gotta find out the truth, man. <laughs> Hunter. I'm going on Twitter right now just to see what I can find here. It's a, it's all over the place. Maybe Hunter Biden is a cool ass dude that you get a drink with. I man. doubt that shit. Very fucking. Why? <laughs> there was this other Canadian dude. I forgot his name. He was a fat dude. He loved smoking crack. You wouldn't share a beer with my man Hunter? Nah, man. I don't. That, dude, look at him. Look at him. He's on a binge. That dude hasn't slept in days. <laughs> That's a fucking middle aged man. How old is he? That dude is. <laughs> How old is Hunter? <laughs> I'll tell you right now. This is wild. I can't believe that. Uh, he's 51. Damn, he looks pretty young. He's 51. That's because his dad looks like he's 280. Wow. Like right next to, Bi like, you know, Joe Biden, like anyone looks young. You know what I mean? Like. What, what's up with the, the New York governor? What's his name? Kumo? That guy's a freak. They're all freaks, bro. Freak boy. Listen, if you work that hard, you got to get some pussy. And, and these guys are like, fuck it. Bring it. Delivery style. <laughs> you know? Prostitution's illegal. You guys made it illegal. Make it legal. We'll stop getting you in trouble for fucking bitches on the side. It's illegal in New York, right? It's illegal everywhere in every state. It's not. It, no, wait, what? Say it again? It, yeah. Prostitution is illegal in every state. It's not. It's, it's legal in New York now prostitution yeah look it up so he's fine no he his problem is he's he's supposedly sexually harassed women oh he's sexually harassed i mean the shit is like sexually what the fuck does that even mean anymore you yeah know, because wasn't it recently when they hold the whole weed law that changed didn't they they changed the whole prostitution law like people can't get a uh, arrested for prostitution now in new yeah. york yeah well well it, it, I, it just seems like such a bad and look you got a pussy I got a dollar. Let's do this shit, right? No, that, 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 that shouldn't even be a crime. It shouldn't. Like, it's like, why is that the government's business? Like, like, who cares? Like, why is somebody in the bedroom business or whatever they're doing 
have to matter to the fucking government. You can pay a chef. Is it because it's not getting taxed? It should be getting taxed. You should be able to go there, right? Yeah, but then it would have to be like at a store. That's the whole you thing. You have like a menu. Prostitutes are independent contractors. Like, like a menu for all the shit you can order, right? They have that in Japan. They got to bring it here. The Love Hotel. Have you heard about that? No, but that sounds nice. Yeah, bro. Pros- yeah? I mean, I'm, prostitution's legal in a bunch of places. It is legal in other places. That's <clears throat> true. Like Amsterdam. They're going crazy That's over true. there. That's true. Yeah, they got to they gotta bring that. They got to make that happen. You ever seen Euro Trip? No. I'm oh, a- where, where they went to nude beaches and stuff like that? No, I think it's. I think they actually went to Amsterdam. Yeah, they, but they ended up going to a nude beach at one point. This movie will always be like a... Like a just a it has a niche thing to me because yeah. like I seen it after like this uh, party I went to like back in high school days, and I'm always remember it because like we just went to this random dude's house after a party. I used to chill with one of my boys and like a couple friends from uh, Kendall, and we had went to this party and whatever. We go to this random dude's house, shit face. Like I'm I'm blasted <laughs> out of my mind. Like blunts in. And I just sit on this guy's couch because I guess I guess that's what we're doing. Like I didn't have a ride. I'm with my boy, and he's just we're at his crib. So I just sit on this couch, and Euro Trip is playing. And this whole time, I'm just watching it, and I'm like, damn, this movie's not bad. Like I'm so into it, and I think it's because like I'm so many blunts in. Like there's no distractions in my head. Fuck. Like people could be like gang banging like inches away, <laughs> and like I'm just so into this movie. And I'm always remembering, like, just a part of the movie that that there was some crazy ass like prostitution, uh, brothels in the movie or some shit. But like, it got to a point where it was like scary, like on some like like they're putting shit in you, they're pegging you, like it got on some crazy shit. I know movies are just make believe, but that shit always kind of traumatized me. And like, I don't want to go to the that, wrong that, brothel that. and get pegged. Well, you get listen. No one's gonna peg you for free. You want to get pegged, you gotta pay for it. Nah, like the dude this in the is movie. America. The dude in the movie, he went to like to the brothel, thinking like, oh shit, I'm gonna slam some shit. I'm about to like, I'm about to penetrate. And uh, then he fucking, he ends up like kind of getting scammed or tricked, I think. And then he goes into like this machine thing, and it's like, it's like this machine that's just like going down. And it's about to, yeah, like, it's about to go in his hole, dog. Let's Listen, say that. man, that sounds fucking wild. I was traumatized. Like, that's why I always remember that movie. And I and I didn't even know the name of the movie, and it took me years to discover to it. Because I was oh, so fried. I know what that's like. You man. know, the, you know ex- yes, that's why that movie has a niche to it. Because, like, I was so many blunts fried in, and that I, there was years later, like, yo, what's the name of that movie? And then... And then I would search up things related to the movie, and then I eventually found those. But you were young, tri- right? Yeah, I was probably like 16. 15. 16. Years later, I discovered it was it was Euro Trip. Damn. The movie didn't even have to be good. It was just at that moment. But just thinking about a you know accidentally getting pegged while you're like on a thousand blunts, that's traumatizing. That is that, that's you PTSD. See, and that's nothing. I, I think one of the other trips was like I think they had took like some mushrooms or like some crazy ass like. I think they got roofied and then like he started seeing fairies and the like he went they went to a club and they just started fucking bugging out bro like but yeah I don't even I, I gotta see Euro Trip again just to see it like you gotta remind yourself of what that shit was like yeah I was traumatized cause that, that's a weird thing I hope man. brothels aren't like that like you get fucking scammed and you just no <laughs> like I said man this is America you wanna get pegged you gotta pay for it Let's let's not right. even talk about getting pegged because that's just, well you bought it up man. You, I'm just you saying bought, it, you bought up getting pegged. You want to take it away? Listen, it was one of the scenes in the movie. It happened. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. All right. There's dudes that go to Thailand. Oh my god. To quote unquote yeah. push it to the limit. Right. That's something that 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 certain uh you mean people the nose thing. The nose thing. Yeah, like people. Sniffing a little No, 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 no I mean in Thailand Thailand is notorious Because they got some Prostitutes. fucking Yeah, I know about they that They got the lady boys over there Oh, right? the he, she's Yeah You mean Bangkok Bangkok The isn't, capital of it, Thailand is Bangkok uh, Isn't Bangkok where there's a lot of uh, Yes, yes, notorious I mean, is it kind of disrespectful to call them he, she's? Uh, I don't even know if it's he, she or she, he or what order it goes in, but that's be- that's beside the point. The point okay. is, there's dudes spending hella money to do that shit, and I don't know who the fuck, but they're among us. 
But they're what do you anonymous. Mean? They're anonymous. What do you mean? People taking trips to Thailand to just go to... To, to get the lady boy. Uh, maybe it's a mistake and they No, end it's up, not a mistake. They're into the lady boy. Yeah, they're into it. Okay. I mean, that's their choice. Listen, those lady boys, the ones that are prostitutes, they're making a living. I don't doubt it. They're making a living and uh, someone's paying them. For sure. Someone's paying them, right? Dude, I seen there's there's videos on YouTube or like uh, channels dedicated to just uh, hookers, and I was I don't know how I ran into it once a uh, video. It was this dude that he just be banging chicks in Tijuana, Mexico. Yeah. There's this place called um, damn, I think it's called uh, I, I forgot the exact name of it, but there's a, there's a there's a gentleman's club in Tijuana. And bruh, and this, there's the seventh floor. Supposedly, the seventh floor is like heaven for dudes. Like I'm talking about, like just fucking naked women everywhere. Like badass Mexican chicks, like fake asses. But you don't gotta be sharing with with like. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We're just talking about hookers and and prostitution. So they gotta have blow. What do you mean? Coke. You gotta have some Coke if you're. Bro, gonna, you know how much they're charging. You can't just have hookers without Coke. This is Tijuana, Mexico. They have it. They're bro. They're charging like no joke, like twenty bucks just to do anything you want with them. Fuck. When I'm going. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I'm not even joking though. Dude, that is like the best commercial in the world. You just convinced me. No, nah, there's, there's. I'm telling you, there's channels just dedicated on dudes like going up to prostitute escorts. I guess you want to call Fuck. it. And just asking them the price. So escorts. That's like a legal issue when they when you call it escort. Like I guess that's like no. You take me out to to uh, you know fucking McDonald's or whatever. Oh, that's you mean you mean in that type of way. Yeah. It's I that. mean that's another type of prostitution. I actually do perfect. I knew a chick that was an escort. Me too. <laughs> and I'm not gonna put her name out there, but uh, she was so interesting. She would tell me that like that dudes would just pay her to just chill with her for the weekend. To chill with her? Obviously, he'll he'll probably smash for but, sure. But she had to like just be. But he had to be with her for the whole weekend. Like he'll pay her big bucks. Damn. And like, she'll tell me shit. And there was this it, this girl was like a how to describe her? You know the best way to describe her? She's like a Lebanese girl, like a like a Kim K. She doesn't. I'm not saying she looks like Kim K, but like that's her like a, I guess nationality. Right. She looks like kind of like a Kim K in the face. Right. And was she attractive? Mm, she wasn't bad. She wasn't my type, preferably. She's like a, a nice skinny chick. She has a little a little sum. So the dudes would pay her for that. And then, like, I chilled with her, and then she would just tell me stories about, like, these escort missions she would go through and shit. And, like, I would just ask her, like, why are you doing this? There's a real there's a real line. Did she Was she ever, like, a stripper before that or no? I don't think so. Cause I had a homegirl was a stripper, man. That was a, that was interesting. It, it you know it's a, I had one too. It ends up sliding to a point where it's like, she's making money. She was making good money, man. She bought a car quick, like within a month. She was like, yeah, seventeen grand for this. I was like, god damn, dude. First of all, to be a stripper, you gotta look good. I don't care what you think. Yeah. I, rem- well, I, knew, I, I mean, knew- there's some places that you. you- I, I mean, yeah, the bottom of the barrel. But I knew this chick <laughs> that was a fucking a stripper, and. I mean, she's she's okay. Like uh, rating, she's like a four. God damn. That's just me being nice. Like that's me personally. The four is nice. I mean, I don't know, Doug. I just I'm not into her. Like I know her so well. Like I would just I wouldn't do anything with her. You know those type of girls. Like right. Uh. And okay, maybe she's like a five, a six, around there, five to six. And I remember she did stripping for a little bit, and like that's it. She just did it for like five months, and then like. She just stopped. So I guess it wasn't working out for her. Because nobody would stop if they're making fucking crazy amounts of cash. I don't even know how to... Like, like it, it's really easy to slip down, though, like, into into the point where... Cause, to become cause a they, stripper? They, cause they, no, no, no. Because they cause mm-hmm. eventually you realize, like, I could be making more money if I rub that dude's cock. Right? That's Eventually you realize Yeah, but that, you have... You kind of, like, your integrity is so low... As a stripper, though? I don't think it is. No, not necessarily. I mean, now, because maybe it's so normalized. I don't think it is. I think that's, like, mostly stereotypes and bullshit, but... You don't think uh, being a stripper takes down your integrity? No. Okay, what about, um... 
It definitely. How do it's I, just the, the, how the, do I say this? It's just that people have like this association with with sex that like if sex is combined with business, then somehow the person is like. A, Let's put it like this: Would like you date some, a stripper? Would I date a stripper? Fuck no. Well, there you go. That's my point. But the reason I wouldn't date is because of my what? personality. I mean, there's that's dude, it. Come on, there's dudes that are. I, I don't. I, I'm not okay with that type of shit. Exactly. As a man, you wouldn't want your female to be stripping, right? Yeah. It's just fucking normal. That's what I mean, though. But I don't think that's integrity. That's my preference. There's dudes that don't give a fuck. Mm. You know, there's people that have open relationships. I don't. Would you ever be? Right? Would I'm, you ever be a swinger? No. Well, how does how does that work? How bored do you got to be? You're like, yo, we cannot fuck anymore. We need to switch up. What 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 do you think goes into swingers' heads like into becoming one? Like boredom, midlife crisis. For real? Fuck it. I don't know. The, 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 you you got to really be at a point where you're like. I used to work um, by uh, North Miami Beach, and I used to always pass by some shit called Dean's Gold. And I eventually looked it up, and then I seen it was a swingers club. Is that what it was? Yeah, and I always thought it was a strip club at first. Because I was just like, yo, there's a lot of cars here. There's people here. It was big as fuck. And then I searched it up on Yelp. So it's you fuck my wife, I fuck yours. They, I heard about it. They have like rooms for like, I guess if you want to get it on, and just all this other shit. It's just interesting to like just see how other people live. That's why I was just like, that's interesting. So you bring your wife, I bring mine. There's this thing called sw- uh, swapping, which is like obviously you and your wife change partners, and then there was another one called. Um, Fuck, what was the other one, dude? I forgot what the other one was, but there's, like, different types of swinging. Like, it gets more extreme, and I was like, okay. Just doing research on it. I'm, I'm an information nerd. Like, once, I just like learning about shit. Listen, like, there's there's other people that are, there's people doing this polyamorous shit, too. What's right? that? That's when people are in a relationship that has more than two people in it, right? So that's a that's something else that's going on. I mean, on. that's different religions though. That's that's been going on. No, but I don't mean in a religious sense. I mean just people that are doing it just like a fucking relationship, right? Let's see when that like a happens. Guy, a guy dating two girls. When that happens, yeah. When that happens, typically there's like one that feels left out or some shit like that, right? Yeah. That's a weird fucking dynamic. Right? I mean, fuck it. You think that's a regular fucking dynamic where it's just three? I've never seen a relationship where. where I mean, obviously one's gonna feel left out no matter what. See, that's not good. I mean, in my opinion, I don't. I've never been through that. I don't know what it feels like. So, but that's like, fucking, if I had to assume, you're gonna pick a favorite, right? You're gonna have one that you like more. I, I mean, I've seen big ones. There's like fucking five people and shit. Oh no, that's a little too I far. I think some of these dudes are just trying to pimp. You know, that's what it is. This is like At fucking, this point, bro. It's like you're a pimp and you're trying to like make it seem like this is a family thing, but you're just pimping. That's Yeah. That's really what it is. What do you think about um What do you think about nicknames and relationships? Nicknames. Super random. In relationships? Yeah. I mean, that happens naturally. 